Hey guys, Jackie Cooks here. I've already preheated our oven at 425. I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'm going to put that in the oven and just let that melt. Oh yeah! Now we're going to add one and three four cups of yellow cornmeal. I love cornbread! Now we're adding in a half a cup of all-purpose flour. If you want sugar, put sugar. Now let's add in baking powder, salt, and baking soda. Now let's mix those dry ingredients together. Some people get mad because I don't put sugar in my cornbread, but I just don't like it. Okay guys, now it's time to mix our wet ingredients together. We're gonna start off by adding one cup of buttermilk to our bowl. The buttermilk gives it such an amazing flavor. Now if you don't like buttermilk, you could just use regular milk, that'll be fine. Next we're gonna add in one fourth cup of sour cream. Okay guys, we're gonna add in two large eggs slightly beaten you always want to crack your eggs in a separate bowl so you don't get no shells we don't like shells okay we're just going to go ahead and pour our eggs in there we're just going to mix that very well to it's smooth creamy and delicious yum yum yeah somebody told me it ain't real cornbread if it ain't got no sugar i was like what Okay, we got our three magical ingredients, our buttermilk, sour cream, and eggs. We're just going to go ahead and mix that very well with our whisk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in about three tablespoons of scallions. Cornbread is one of those things that is so versatile. I think that's why I love it so much. You can add chorizo, sharp cheddar cheese, pine nuts, scallions, leeks, jalapeno, fresh corn, whatever you do like in your cornbread. Oh my God, you can even add bacon. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and mix my wet ingredients with my dry ingredients. Going to mix that together very well. I eat cornbread with absolutely everything. Spaghetti, chili, salad, greens, beans, you name it. I'll eat cornbread. Okay, guys, at this point, you want to mix well with a wooden spoon, but you do not want to overmix your cornbread. It looks so good. Okay, we want to take our pan out the oven with that melted butter and just swirl it around. Okay, now we're just going to pour that melted butter into our batter and mix well with our wooden spoon. Oh my God, it's going to taste so good. It smells good, guys. If you have not had scallions in your cornbread, please try it. We're going to pour our delicious batter into our cast iron skillet, which makes the perfect crust cornbread. Oh my God, it's, you guys got to try this recipe. Oh yeah, we're going to bake it for about 20 minutes or until the cornbread pulls away from the pan. And after it's ready, we're going to put it on our cooling rack and cool for five minutes. Did y'all see that delicious looking crust? And here is the most important part is the taste test. Yes, honey. Do you see those scallions in there? Good, delicious scallion. Yep, very good. Just as good as I thought. Even better. Look at that crust. Look at that crust. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, please comment, like, and subscribe.